Hello, my YouTube family. I uh, was sent in my email a prophetic dream. I believe it was a dream. Visions and dreams from God the Father. Now, this person doesn't, uh, excuse me, my nose decided to start itching. All right. <laughs> um, well, first, I wanted to tell you, I got on with the Geek Squad yesterday. And first, the first part is AI, you know, the non-human voice telling you to do this and then this and then this. Click the box and hit enter. Well, the box had um, like, um, a, it was either a question mark or an exclamation mark. Some kind of mark was in it. I couldn't really see it because everything was really little. And, but I went ahead and hit enter since there was something in the box and I couldn't really click on it. Anyway, I had to get a human. Okay, then he had to walk me through it. And when I went to the part where you had to enter the code number, he had to give me this code number so he could take over my computer. All of a sudden, his voice was like scrambled eggs. I mean, like someone driving through a tunnel. Every third, I'm, I'm, it's just awful. And I rebuked Satan. <laughs> I said, I, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus, and I plead the blood of Jesus over this computer. I said, I demand you to work, command you to work, whatever. And the man said the number again, and it was, I got it in there and hit enter. And then his voice cleared up, just like that. So that was the enemy trying to keep me from getting my computer fixed. Now, it's still just a little darker, dimmer than I would like, but it's it's okay. I can read this font because it's in all caps. So, so anyway, um, I'm not sure I ever heard of this man. His name is Eric D. Hale, H-A-L-E. And it says, note, scriptural references are provided. Gosh, I'm sorry. Lord, make my nose stop bitching. What in the world is going on? I just started by Eric to provide further insight into the message. All right. Visions and dreams from God the Father. It started... I'm going to put in words that I think belong. Well, I'll explain. He says, it started, I was in Japan. Maybe he meant to say that way. He should have put a comma after started. But I, it might have should have been, it started when I was in Japan. I said, the mega 9.1 mega quake is the twin to the other 9.1 strike that is about to happen elsewhere. I said the 9.1 was a twin to another 9.1. I could hear the tsunami warning alert going off. Everybody was running to higher ground. Jeremiah 47.3 The fathers will not look back for their children lacking courage. That's pretty sad. But um, this is going to be part of the great tribulation. I'm pretty sure that we won't see this, but I, I can't be positive. Then the voice of the Lord said, for the elect sake, the chosen of God, Matthew 24, verses 22, the days have been shortened. Okay. The earth was wobbling. I seen 2,000 aftershocks from the quake in 15 hours. Some were as high as seven plus. 
It triggered other quakes in other parts of the world. I have to give these details of what I seen in the dream this morning. So you know the Lord has spoken. Lisa, oh, I'm sorry. The USA, USA has two weeks from today exactly for it to remain as it is. It will never be the same in Jesus' name. Okay, this was dated 8 1 21. The sun and the moon is about to be struck by huge meteors and comets. People were asking in the dream, is this really the end of time? How long have we been in the Great Tribulation? People were asking me that in the dream. Okay, see, that's why I was saying this is probably for those in the Great Tribulation, which is after the multitude too large to number goes up. That's both raptures. So that's, that's, I'm just reading to you what he said. Then he says, Jeremiah, well, he said, I said, Jeremiah 1 verse 11. What do you see? Everything written in the word of God is happening at the same time. I keep seeing the dollar is gone. It was the army at staging places everywhere. In parks, malls, movie theaters. It was very strange. The black helicopters are coming. So is the wrath of God. We can't stay here much longer, I kept saying. Jesus is coming for his people. Hawaii has been destroyed. God spoke. Psalm 33 verse 9, For he spoke and it was done. Here it comes. On 8, 4, 21, Visions and Dreams from God the Father. I saw the 9.1 and the tsunami strike Japan again. I was in Japan warning the people, saying it will be a warning quake right before it happens. I said 6.4, 6.5 range. I said it twice, that it will be the imminent warning right before the seafloor. Amos 8, verse 8. Heave and subside. It looked. The Olympics were still going on, just ended. I kept warning like I'm doing now, but I was in the land of the Isaiah 1, verse 25. The rising of the sun. This tsunami will cause historic devastation and mass casualties. Nahum 3 verse 3 Multitude of slain A great number of bodies Countless corpses Yeah, this is not one of them happy Oh, Jesus is coming any minute now messages, is it? This is to wake people up and tell you, get right with God, or this, you could be in this. It's something this big would affect here, too. I said several times in the dream, Japan shall be taken by surprise. It was taken by surprise. Okay, we just have to... Excuse the grammar. I mean, it's not worded like we normally are used to, but it's, I'm sure they did the best they could. I said several times in the dream, quote, Japan shall be taken by surprise, comma, it was 
taken by surprise, unquote. You see how it is worded? It's like after I gave the warning about this warning, it happened immediately. I saw it all over the news, everywhere. It was horrible. Then I said this will be a warning to the rest of the nations that their judgments will be next. Okay. I saw the one who is head of this country with the initials of J.B. He gave a national emergency broadcast that appeared over everybody's phones and TVs in the dream. I even had a cell phone I was looking at. I ain't had no cell phone in years. But in the dream I did. Then it was chaos in the land because everybody realized they be played straight. They have been played, maybe. Straight pandemonium is going to break out. The Smurf blue hats were in conjunction with the armies going door to door in those gas masks and suits while riots over everything occurred. Gas masks and suits, perhaps because of a, another pandemic, a deadlier virus was released. That's what it sounds like to me. Everywhere, people went crazy over the LD lock, the LD down locks coming. Okay, he's talking in a code. I don't know what he means. People went crazy over the L space, capital D, comma, down locks coming. You hear what I said? Question mark. And this is in quotes. I saw something with that man who runs Gotham City. Right now, declare other offensive against that city, city within Babylon. One of the Psalms, one of the, comma, Psalm 137, verse 8, Daughters of Babylon. Sounds like New York City to me. The cities within the cursed kingdom is called that. Give your life to Jesus. Time is gone. Quote, get in the ark. Unquote. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Oh my gosh. It just goes on and on. 726. It's visions and dreams from God the Father. I said the subduction zones, the subduction zones are about to go. It was powerful, I mean super powerful. Mega quakes that begin to hit one of them was a 9 plus mega quake that is going to literally wipe LA off the map. It was shaking for 9 minutes straight in California. The 5.7 in Beverly Hills took place as a warning. I saw people laugh, saying, This is the big one. People laughed. I said, Wait until you see what God my Father does to these lands. The ground is going to become completely unstable. Psalm 29, verse 8. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. These earthquakes will be the most destructive, deadliest earthquakes ever. As in the ever, ever 
forever, ever, multiple places got destroyed at the same time. That's kind of a strange way of putting it. Isaiah 24, verse 18. The foundations of the earth are shaken. The seabeds in three oceans went off, and pieces of the continental shells broke apart like shattered glass under the oceans. One took place I clearly seen was in the deepest part of the Indian Ocean. It looked like a hurricane under the ocean in the deep waters. It was so much debris of sediments swirling around, I saw demonic mermaids swimming away. Yeah, mermaids are chimera. Half person, half fish. That means if it happened in the spiritual realm, the mass migration of the aquatic life has made a sudden abandonment from their abodes under the seas. I saw a lot of military going door to door trying to proceed with the speed warp operation on mankind. He probably meant to say warp speed, but anyway, speed warp. Give your lives to Jesus is what I woke up saying. This thing is about to get rocked. July 19th of 21. Zephaniah 2 verse 15. Quote, shakedown, unquote. The earth is broken and violent. The earth is broken and violently broken. Jeremiah 15 verse 3. Four forms of destruction, the earthquakes and tsunamis that will strike. It will cause even more famine and pestilences. You see, the money is actually depleting, beloved people. It's been this way for a while. Many just couldn't see it due to the Second Thessalonians 2 verse 11, strong the delusion of deceiving spirits, incentives to take the poison, the so-called free cash they was given out, ain't nothing free in Babylon, when Lamentations verse uh, 5 verse 4, we pay for the water we drink, our wood comes at price, this is why we must truly take heed what we are actually seeing, beloved, Whoever controls the food and water controls society. The seals in Revelation have been being opened. You are the generation of Revelation. If you hear in this time right now, you are Revelation 1 verse 3, blessed to read this prophecy. Born into it, chosen from the beginning to actually be involved in it, the chosen people of God are the elect of Jesus Christ. Isaiah 43 verse 10, you are my witnesses. Justified by the grace of God upon your lives and mine. 1 Peter 2, grace to you and peace be multiplied. I finally understand what that first that one scripture really means that in drought of the apocalypse or the increased level of famine that is gripping the world in its entirety, the impending doom that will strike the earth any time due to the lapse of time and lack of mega quakes, tsunamis that have not been hitting this earth. Whatever we about to see, God is going to fill us with his love, supernatural peace that those who don't belong, peace that those who don't belong to God, none of them, Daniel 12 verse 11, shall understand. 
Yeah, they won't understand why we're at peace. I think it's because we've already gone outside of time and come back. I saw the sun struck. You see, not everybody's given all the pieces of the puzzle. We all see in part and we prophesy in part. So, you know, he, he wasn't given that. I saw the sun struck by something massive and the destruction of stars and planets. None of this shall make us fear. Marina Trench Depth or K2 Summit Heights shall not move us. Romans 8 verse 35 Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Nothing, not even these. Okay, there's so much more. I'm going to have to make a part two. I'll start at 7, 25, 21 in the next video that I make. Okay, I'm ending this one here. I plead the blood of Jesus over it. And um, over each and every one of us and our devices and our internet connections. And I know this sounds very scary, but it's not for us to fear. Because if you truly love Jesus Christ and are putting your trust in him, and not in the government. Not waiting for Trump to come back and make everything great again. Because that's not going to happen. Okay. Jesus is going to take his bride away. We will be trained. We will be put back. How long will we be gone? Some think it will seem like a moment. Some say maybe it seems like a day. But it's really longer. I don't know. But we come back. Probably after the three days of darkness, maybe during. And we will help those who have not been poisoned. If you know what I get, I mean, get my drift. We will help you. If you pray that you can survive what goes on. So you need to be ready to go. Because you don't know what the Lord has planned for you. Give your life to Jesus today. I pray you will. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.